I'm going with this now. Praise God. God always has somebody there to bring a word because He's an on-time God. Yes, He is. Yeah. I know for me, I've had the word delivered to me at an on-time, amen to God, every time. When I've needed the word, it's been there. God will deliver His word. The problem is, who's going to hear it to send it? Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. It always comes at the right time. Before a kingdom is going to come to ruins, or a life is going to be destroyed, we serve an all-time God who delivers. Amen. Amen. He may not come when you want Him to, yeah. but He's on time. Always on time. Yeah. Why has it got to be our way? Let's quit this Burger King thing today. Amen to God. Let's make it His way, Brother Rodney. Amen. Mm -hmm. no. Make it His way. It's all about Him. Ooh, glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Because God knows how to deliver the message. And sometimes, it, you know, I, 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 I truly believe this. If we would just listen the first time, we wouldn't go through some of the things we go through. Really? Come on. Amen. Amen. If we would listen to him the first time, we wouldn't go through the things we do. But we want to get rebellious. Yeah. We want to be know-it-alls. And we want to go through this thing, hey, I don't need God. I don't need to hear that word. i got to have my fun right now. And then it just keeps on and on. And finally, you have to get brought down to the very bottom yeah. before your attention's got. I don't know why it takes that for some people, but it just does. Yeah. Some people, they end up in jail. Some people end up in a crack house. Yeah. Some people lose their families. Come on. Hallelujah. They go broke going to the casino boats and all that stuff. Yeah. Gambling and playing the lottery. Come on. Hallelujah to God. It takes it takes them to the bottom before they listen. Yeah. I guess God has to bring you down so you can look up. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. He yeah. has to bring you down so you can look up. Amen to God. Somebody shout somebody. Somebody. Amen. My goodness. You can't plant tomatoes in December and get a uh, full garden. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. But see, a word in due season will bring forth fruit in somebody's life. Amen. It will do that. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know if y'all get this or not, but it's tearing me up. Amen to God. Because his thoughts are not like our thoughts. His ways are not like our ways. Yeah, He'll use some of the strangest things that we think is stupid. Yeah, yeah. Praise God to get the message out. Amen oh. hey, to God. He'll do it. Yeah. Glory to God. And I'm glad he does it. Some people say preaching is foolish. Well, amen to God. I guess I'm foolish then because I like to preach. Hallelujah to God. I want to preach what the saith the Lord says. I want to preach to somebody who's hurting. I want to preach, praise God. Hallelujah to the hurting, to the lame, to the hawk. Remember, we've got to bring the lame at the gate in the house. Mm -hmm. Praise God because they need it. Mm -hmm. Won't you try that for somebody this week? Won't you help them when they're down instead of kick them when they're down? Come on. Praise God. Quit sticking your nose so far up. Praise God. If it rained, it drowned. Hallelujah. My goodness. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 10, here's another, another example. I praise God that God will send the word. Amen. A word to him that's weary. It may not be when we want it, but it'll get there. Yeah. Praise God. Daniel chapter 10, verses 2 through 13. I want to read this and I want you to hear this. Read along with me if you got your Bibles. And praise God that you should, when you come to the house of God, you ought to bring your Bible too. Amen to God. How does that annoys me, praise God, when people don't want to bring the Word of God in the house of God and they just leave it home getting dust everywhere. Bring your Bible and read along with the pastor or the preacher. Praise God. That way you know the Word of God. Amen. Go. Daniel 10 verses 2 through 13. In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Twenty-one days. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Ezekiel, then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of a fast. If I said that right. Did I say that right, brother? Close enough. Amen. <laughs> His body also was like burl, 
And his face as the appearing of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. My, my. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Thank God he speaks. Glory to God. And I, Daniel, saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision. Sometimes people don't get what the Lord's trying to show you sometimes. Amen, Amen to God. But a great quaking fell upon them, so they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me. For my cunningness was turned in, turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Sometimes, like I said, you've got to be brought down. Praise God, so you can look up. Amen. Praise God, you've got to let go of all you so He can take over. Mm -hmm. Amen to God. But yet I heard the voice of His words. And when I heard the voice of His words, then I was in a deep sleep on my face. And my face towards the ground. And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palm of my hands, and said unto me, O Daniel, a great man beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am I now sent... And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Now this is going to get me with our, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy... Glory to God. Hallelujah. For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before God, thy words were heard. Can you hear me out there? Yeah. See, when... When you pray, God hears you. Yeah. Woo! Glory to God. Don't think He turns His ear away from you. He hears you. He said, Thy words were heard, and I have come for Thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia, that's a type of the devil there, withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. See, Daniel was praying. Hallelujah. He could have been like the modern church and just prayed for five minutes, got up got on the Wii or on the Internet or started text messaging somebody, praise God, and not waited for the answer. But it took 21 days, amen to God, but the answer was delivered, but God heard it when he prayed. Amen. You ought to shout somebody. God still hears your prayer, but amen to God. God, sometimes you got to wait on God. Amen. Because when you wait on God, He will sustain thee. Did you see what they did for Daniel? He was weak and He sustained him. Amen to God. Come on. I don't know if y'all are getting this tonight. I'm trying to convey it the way the Lord showed me. Amen to God. That God will give you a word. Amen to God. In due time. It may not be when you want it, but it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Your deliverance is coming. Praise God. Because He heard you when you first prayed. Yeah. You're praying for those lost family members. Amen to God. And He heard you. Amen to God. Just take your stand on the Word of God. Hallelujah. And trust Him. And Believe him and take him at his word. Amen. Why do we take man at his word, but we don't take God at his? Yeah. Amen. Why do we do that? If some doctor tells us something, we believe the doctor more than we do God. Come on. Amen. The Lord said in his word, you are healed. Yeah. But the doctor says, take more of this. Why don't we believe God? Because we don't have faith in him. Come on. We don't trust him. My goodness, God hears your cries. He bottles your tears up when you cry. Yeah. That's a good God. Amen. That's a loving Father that He bottles your tears up when you cry. Every tear you shed for family, friends, yeah. when you're going through something, He bottles those tears up because He cares. Casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you, the Bible says. Hallelujah! Mom. You say, Brother Mike, I can't keep going all the way I'm going. Hold on. Help is on the way. Hallelujah. My goodness. My goodness. Help is on the way. My goodness. Just keep holding on to Jesus. That's not a cliche, church. Yeah. The Word has been spoken. And He's coming to sustain you Amen. and to help you and to lift you up. He will do that. 
question is, do you believe it? I'm all. Do you believe it? Do you know that on this walk for Jesus, in these last days, 